this rice. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the holy ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eager eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end so that you may not become sluggish but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore it himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now, men swear by someone greater than themselves. For them, an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as a forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant. The Lord will remember his covenant. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. 
Lord will remember his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did? when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God with Abathar, <clears throat> when Abathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel passage gives Jesus' teaching on the purpose of this Sabbath and on its pr proper observance. This was his response to his criticism and a silly accusation made by the Pharisees against his disciples. Jesus argues that basic human needs, like hunger, take precedence over divine worship and Sabbath observance. In other words, the commandment to keep the Sabbath holy does not come before the duty to seek basic sustenance. Jesus cites from scripture the example of hungry David and his selected soldiers. They approached Abiathar, the high priest of Nob, or his father priest Ahimelech, who gave them for food the bread of the presence, which only the priests were allowed to eat. The bread of the presence consisted of Twelve loaves or cakes placed each morning on the table in the sanctuary as homage to the Lord from the twelve tribes of Israel. The loaves withdrawn to make room for the fresh ones were reserved to the priests. Like Jewish Sabbath, the Christian Sunday is to be a day of rest and refreshment with members of the family. Again, a day for thanksgiving and the recharging of spiritual batteries through participation in the Eucharistic celebration. And a day for parents to teach religious faith and Bible to their children. A day to do works of charity in the neighborhood and in the parish and also a day for socializing with family members, neighbors, and fellow parishioners with a social distancing. Amen. God calls us to fulfill his will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that he wishes his people to intercede for the world. For Pope Francis, that he will continue to lead his church with apostolic service and authority. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians making spiritual retreats, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the children of those who have, di who have died from abortions in our nation, that they may rest in peace in the loving arms of our Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, and for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the birth for uh, the birthday of Paul Gressler, whom this Mass attention is for, let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, as we make these prayers to do your will, accept us in your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we have free fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will be for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we have free fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you have redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountiful holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. I remember, Lord, your church but throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, I remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called into the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be saved.
For those at home, let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. <clears throat> Pope Francis on World Christian Day said the following, every child needs to be welcomed and defended, helped and protected from, from the moment of their conception. As we prepare to remember January 22nd, the anniversary of the Supreme Court of Road versus Wade, 1973, we will pray as a community and novena, praying a Hail Mary at every Mass from January 14th to January the 22nd. We pray this with the intention for the full restoration of the legal guarantee of the right to life. So please pray with me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.